Hi, welcome to the SAP HANA information video session about SAP HANA dynamic tiring using extended tables. The diagram provides an overview of multi temperature data classification. Due to information lifecycle management, customers often apply multi temperature strategies whereby the data is classified by three different categories based on the access frequency as either hot, warm, or cold as shown. Since warm data is not constantly accessed, this data doesn't need to occupy space in the main memory of HANA, which is costlier. To tackle this, the new concept of dynamic tiring introduced by SAP. HANA dynamic tiring enables you to optimize the main memory resource management using extended tables for BW objects with warm data. Logically, they are located in the SAP HANA database catalog and can be used as if they were persistent SAP HANA tables. These tables are physically located in a disk based data storage, which has been integrated into the SAP HANA system. The user sees the entire system as one single database. The persistence of data written to the extended table is hard disk based and not main memory based. The data written to an extended table is written directly to the disk based data storage. This data in the warm memory is accessed using algorithms, which are optimized for disk based storage. In SAP BW, warm data, which is used in the acquisition area and corporate memory area, is usually saved in data store objects, PSA tables, and in uh, write optimized DSOs. If you use SAP HANA dynamic tiring, you can configure these objects to make SAP HANA create an extended table instead of a native SAP HANA table. The data written to this table is written directly to the disk based data storage, as I said. Earlier, the extended table is logically located in SAP HANA. The SAP HANA optimizer can access this table like as it would be any other SAP HANA table. In summary, the extended table concept enables you to make an area in SAP HANA ready for warm data. Use SAP BW and HANA to handle large data of volumes at low cost, which will create a positive impact on HANA hardware size. In order to use extended tables, do not forget to install and configure SAP HANA Dynamic Tiring in SAP BW, which may require separate licensing. Thanks for watching the video. Hope we meet again with some other interesting topics soon. Thank you.